Welcome to another Grim Speed install video. My name is Will, and today we're going to be talking about the Subaru 08 Plus Impreza WRX and STI Master Cylinder Brace install. This is for the sedans and the hatchbacks of all the Impreza, WRX, and STI models. The required tools for today's install are a 3 8 socket wrench, an extension for that wrench, a universal joint, a 10 millimeter socket, a 15 millimeter wrench, a 5 millimeter hex key, and it should take just about one hour. Now here is the location for the install on an 08 WRX. Now we're going to start by locating the bracket connected to these three fuel lines. So you're going to pinch two clips on the back of these to release the bracket. And then you're going to proceed by removing each of the three lines from this black plastic bracket. Now make sure you do not break this bracket as it will be reused in the installation of our master cylinder brace. Now that these are loose, just remove the black plastic bracket and we can move on to the next step. Now directly below the fuel lines, you can use your fingers or a flathead screwdriver to pry out this bracket here, so that way you can pull the line up off the bracket. Once that has been removed, you're going to want to grab your 10 millimeter socket, extension, wrench, and of course the joint, and remove these two gold bolts holding the metal bracket to the strut tower wall. Now that the metal bracket below the fuel lines is loose, we're going to wiggle it free. Now you're going to have to kind of tip it and maneuver it a little bit to kind of move it out of the way. Now the goal with this is to allow for a little more room to work underneath here. We're going to push it aside like this and it should hold itself just in place. Now we're going to take our master cylinder brace and we're going to maneuver it underneath the fuel lines and into place. Now this will take a little bit of moving around. Um, it is kind of hard to fit in there, but it does fit. Do not worry. It'll just take some maneuvering. Now once this is roughly in place, we're going to grab one of the three shorter bolts and we're going to put it into the top left hole as you see there. This will allow the bracket to hang somewhat in place and be the correct location for the other two short bolts. Once this is in place, grab one of the other short bolts and thread it into the hole below. Do not completely tighten these down yet as it might require a little bit of adjusting to make sure that all the holes line up. There are going to be two bolt holes directly below the first bolt hole where you put one of the short bolts in. All three of these bolt holes will require the three short bolts. Next up, we're going to take this bracket that we moved out of place earlier and we're going to place it on top of our master cylinder brace. Now there will be two holes that line up with this. You will take both of the longer bolts and you will put it through the OEM bracket which goes through our master cylinder brace into the strut tower wall. Once all of the bolts are finger tight, we're going to start with the three in a row and tighten those down, and then we're going to move over to the front two and tighten those down. That way, the entire bracket will be completely bolted to the strut tower wall. Once again, you're going to want to use your 10 millimeter socket wrench with the extension and the joint. This will just help get in there to tighten these down all the way.
Now to finish up the actual brace install, we're going to take this plastic bracket that we removed before from the fuel lines. The difference is, is we're going to be putting it in the reverse of the way we installed it, so that way the mounting tab is going to be facing the engine bay versus facing the strut tower wall as it did before. The fuel lines will all still go into their original location. Now just make sure that once these fuel lines are all reattached that you pop that retaining clip back into the OEM bracket. If you do not, the fuel lines will float and rattle around. Once those are all in there, you should be good to go. Now on some cars, it might require slightly more clearance to get past the box on the firewall. You may need to slightly tweak the bracket just a bit, but that should be all that's required. Now to complete the install, we're moving on to the cylinder, shaft, and cup. There are four key components to this, two nuts, one threaded shaft, and one pressure cup that will be pressed up against the master cylinder itself. Now here is a side view of the master cylinder brace. The side that I'm pointing to is where the master cylinder will be. There are two ends to this threaded shaft. One end is a hex, the other is an indent. The indent is going to be facing the actual master cylinder and the hex end will be facing away from the master cylinder. Now we're going to start by threading on one nut to the hex end of the shaft. We're going to then insert this through the hole and thread on loosely the other nut till it almost meets up with the brace itself. You want to make sure there is a substantial wiggle room in here so it can slide back and forth. We're going to then take the supplied cup, which will be pressed up against the master cylinder itself. Now this does not thread on, it seats on here and is held in by pressure, so be careful not to drop this or scratch it up. Now we're going to take our hex key and our 15 millimeter wrench. We're going to hold the front nut near the cup with the 15 millimeter wrench and we're going to insert the hex key in the back still making sure there is a little bit of wiggle room. Now we're going to rotate this nut to the right which will extend the threaded shaft until you make contact. Once it makes contact you're only going to want to rotate that nut and tighten it one half turn to one full turn by rotating the nut to the right. Now still holding it in place in the rear, you're going to tighten the other nut to the right, which will lock the shaft to the master cylinder brace, and that is it. Congratulations.